Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have got a treat for you. This is a fifth wheel that I have been wanting to check out for the better part of two years, but never just lined up with a great opportunity to come up here to the manufacturer and shoot this puppy. This is one of the coolest front living setups that you will see, but more so important than that, it's one of the best constructed fifth wheels that you will see. This thing has an overall GVW of 24,000 pounds. So it is not a light fifth wheel by any means, but it has the industry's thickest sidewall, six point hydraulic auto leveling. That is gonna be on a little bit of a five degree pitch there for added stability. So they're doing things the proper way. And what that's gonna to mean to you is a smoother kind of you know living experience, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter, all wrapped up in a high end luxury finish. This is Definitely one that's gonna be on the bucket list for you know when the when the kids are out of the house, we got some extra money and we probably wanna go set across the country, you know, camping and traveling along the way. This is the 2024 DRV Mobile Suites Nashville. Now all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description along with a link for the price, but also a link to the manufacturer so you can see what all is optional because this is primarily a pretty good custom piece. I mean, you can order it with different paint jobs, different cabinets, different floorings. There's just a whole bunch of stuff uh, that you can do that, you know, unless I did a two hour video, wouldn't have the time to go over it all. So I wanna make sure you have those resources, but hopefully you find yourself enjoying the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2024 DRV Mobile Suites Nashville. And man, I, I'm excited for this one. This front living is just fantastic. So this is went with a little bit of a darker floor. You can get it, like I was saying, a little bit light. And this is the um, uh, Italian white for the cabinetry. So again, you can go darker, you know, if you choose to do it. The kitchen, obviously residential everything. I mean, it is fantastic, real hand laid tiles. You flip over here, you got a slide for a dinette. This is definitely going to be more of a couple's coach, but if you bring the grandkids along with you, you have the ability to sleep them because both of these sofas do pull out, which, um, you know, they meet up into the middle. It kind of is what it is there. I like the fact of the valances where it kind of breaks up between, you know, the light and the dark. I like how the walls and the ceiling all kind of bounce off each other. You have the soft touch. So that's going to go into, you know, sound editing, inherent, you know, extra, you know, values for, you know, just keeping the camper a little bit more insulated. You're also going to notice you have the returns over on the sides. There's going to be no exposed ACs in the mobile suites lineup. They all use a whisper quiet. So even when this thing is, you know, it's a 15 KC, when it's pumping at full speed, it is still gonna be very quiet. And it's not gonna interrupt your movie. But one of my favorite things about this living room is the fact that they have two recliners with that walkway through. I just think that looks incredibly sharp. I imagine just sitting down right here, you know, maybe when the kids are older, we're hanging out, watching a movie, kind of all one big family. You have your fireplace, you also get a little bit of storage here, both left and right of the TV. And the cabinetry is all handmade uh, here in house. So that is pretty darn cool. I mean, I mean, look at that. That is an actual real wood. I believe that one is going to be a walnut if I'm not mistaken. The head clearance in here is pretty darn snazzy, pretty darn nice. I mean, I'm six feet tall. You're probably looking at about six, five or so, I would say. All of the windows do open up for a nice breeze and they all have day and night shades. So if you want to block out a little bit of the sun, you know, or all of the sun, you can definitely do that, you know, kind of get your Dracula on right here behind the recliner. Let me go ahead and move this over just a hair. You got a nice little place, you know, possibly for some books. My wife is a big time reader and I think that would be a great place. You know, even a reading nook. Imagine if you're, you know, your lakeside, you got yourself a little bit of a view, not at a, you know, lot at an RV manufacturer, but it's a cool little place just to post up. You're also going to notice you get a little bit of countertop space all up and around and you have a little charging station. So two pull out sofas, two recliners, big TV, great decor. Overall, I think it's, you know, just kind of a home run as far as that is concerned. Maybe drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Over here, you're going to have a couple of your lighting controls and you have a dimmer so you can do it, you know, just like of that. These are going to be the fancy kind of countertops to where if you were to chip it, that pattern runs all the way through. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. And now we are heading back into the kitchen. But before we do that, I mean, you even have this kind of this woodwork on the archway, which I think is really nice. Same storage, both left and right too, by the way. But I like the LED lighting. 
And now we're over into the living room where you're going to see that you have uh, two slides. So you have one right here and then you have one for the dinette. So right when you walk in, first thing you're going to be greeted with is a big old Mac Daddy refrigerator. Let's go ahead and pull out this little travel tab right there. But I mean, you could pack away a week's worth of food in that thing. Absolutely no problem. You know, it's just the same size as the one that's inside of my home. And then, you know, the freezer section as well. It's got two different trays. So you got yourself, it looks like a little bit of an ice maker there. And then you got the center partition is able to be moved and jostled around. You also have an island here that not only has storage on the sides, which is a little bit unique, but you're also going to get a trash can, three more pull-out drawers, and then you see right here is a dishwasher. So I know a lot of people are really wanting dishwashers. Now you got a dishwasher. If you noticed here, you got the soft close on the drawers. But I mean, imagine all the space. If you do have the grandkids over and they want to play some games or you know, do something a little bit crazy. You got the space to do that here as well. You got plenty of walk around room on either side of the island. And then you're also gonna get the industry's largest oven, the insignia. So four stovetop burner to whip up all the fixins and enough room for a turkey. Massive pull out drawer too. So, I mean, that goes back the entire width there. I mean, that's pretty nice. And then bada bing, bada boom. Hopefully I can afford one of these things one day. Stainless steel undermounted bowl. This is gonna be a Kohler. And then you got Super snake, whoosh, 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 hitting those dishes from all angles. And like I was saying, you actually have a hand laid tile. So that's actual grout right there. That is not just a, uh, you know, kind of a peel and stick situation to where it's all, you know, that kind of that plastic tile appearance. So just a ton of storage, all of which are gonna be that soft close. And they all have the magnetic copper tabs uh, that go on right there just for you know, added security when you're driving down the road, you don't have to worry about it. A lot of brands have that, but I like to point it out. Convection microwave here as well. And then notice you're going hands-free. Same thing with above the fridge. And then you flip it around, you got a great place to sit down, you know, have some breakfast. You got table for two right now, uh, but right here you can unhinge that and you can pull it out uh, for a table for four. Three more windows, countertop space, outlets, and they're the fancy kind where you got the USB and the universal C kind of built in. So no matter what device you have, you have the ability to charge it. And then, I mean, just the, the height of this being a full profile camper too. I mean, holding my hands up, you know, you're ready to rock. You also have uh, the wine guard right there. So if you ever wanted to get Wi-Fi, you know, and truly turn this into kind of a wireless experience, you can definitely do that. You got the old DRV clock. You know, who doesn't like a good clock? I know I sure do, big clock guy. You got the washer and the dryer. Well, actually it's vice versa, but yeah, you got the dryer up top, washer down there, but I like how it's here as opposed to being actually into the bedroom. And then you have a half bath. Now there is a uh, cabinet door missing there. There will be one. They found a little, little scuff on it, so they're replacing that. So that's nice, just a part of the PDI process prior to it being delivered out. I just want to make sure everything is, you know, high and tight. Porcelain throne. A little bit of antifreeze in there. Uh. And then you got a window where you can play some friendly neighbor, or you can close it out, you know, and block it out. Heading back into the bedroom. I mean, the mobile switch just does a good bedroom. I mean, when you come in, you got this massive bed. You got storage here underneath with those two extra chairs there as well. But I also like how the fact on the sides, not only do you have a little area to place some things, but it's also a cubby there too. Three more windows, an emergency exit, pull, push and plop if you ever need to. And then you have more overhead storage as well. So that's kind of what you're looking at there. And that goes all the way across. You flip it around, you got yourself a little, um, I can't remember what they call it, like a vanity slide, I guess. But the slide is just right here above the dresser just to create a little bit more space so you don't feel you know cramped up and it is you know quite a nice area to hang some clothes bada bing bada boom i mean just a ton of room and i won't you know open them all but you kind of get the idea i'll open almost all of them <laughs> and then right here you got the insignia tv that's going to be on an angle so that way you know you've got a perfect uh, little view there when you're laying down got your head on that pillow and you're ready to rock. I mean, just a good little, good little extra oomph. 
here into the the master bath this is what you're looking at you got the accent lighting you got the fancy pants sink i love that help mitigate some of the splash with that curve you also have outlets a good mirror to check out the old bowling gun baby and then storage you know all up and around doesn't get much better and i forgot to say the the linoleum on these two for the flooring is going to be a more residential style it's a little bit thicker uh, so you don't have to you know it's a little bit nicer it's a lot nicer than most of your fifth wheels out there on the market little steam or stink sucker 3000 up on the roof and then if you needed some added added light or you know possibly if you're nine feet tall that would provide a little bit of extra head clearance you're also on the triglide glass series so it opens it up just a little bit wider you know as you can see you can move those you know all the way out but one piece fiberglass shower you got room for one two if you want to get a little crazy down at the campground but you are good to go it also looks nice with kind of that waves in there but drop a comment you know let me know what you think i know it was a little bit of a, a quick tour but i got a i stopped in here this morning and then wanted to zip back over to kz where i'm doing a bunch of units got 10 more units left yesterday at 4 30 in the morning got to kz recorded until about eight at night so i recorded from about nine to eight and then woke up just wanted to do this unit because they had it in and then um you know kind of dip out from there but before we do head out i do want to show you the control center so center so what i do like and i think more brands need to go with this is they have the manual for the slide out controls a lot of these brands are going with that fancy you know one touch system and things like that i can't tell you how many times that i have seen you know just different issues with that so i like having the fact that it's all just back to that old light switch system which some people might not like it but personally you know i'm for anything i mean it's a it's a switch why do you need a touchpad so right here you got your awnings awning lights the remote switch uh, you got your generator so if you want to have a generator installed i don't believe this one's got one but if you want a generator in there you're just going to hold it down for five seconds then click up for one and that'll get you primed up and then you got your dometic control for your different zones right here along with you know all of your solar stuff fuse box tankless on-demand hot water heater and then you know your solar charge controller the control for the fan that's up on the roof right here but i think that about wraps it up guys i'm going to take you around the outside show you what she's about and then i'm going to get skedaddling but again it's the 2024 drv mobile suites in nashville and heading back out again like i said you can get this in multiple different paint schemes the awnings you got two of them that are just going to go you know right here i'd probably like to see in the future maybe expanding that out or figuring out a way but with the slide heights being what they are might be kind of difficult to figure that out but regardless it gives you good shade for a picnic table for whatever you're doing five inch pitch there are five degree pitch there on the uh, auto level and then actually i just want to show you this too that's what i was talking about for the wall thickness i mean look at that thing that is a thick wall now when you go into like a camper um you know like redwood for instance you know they use a two inch thick wall there is definitely going to be levels to this in the rv industry and this one is a level up you can also see the frame is looking a little bit different it doesn't have that aluminum frame you know it's got that it's got that steel right there so that's part of the reason why this thing weighs so darn much but it's also why it's going to be able to handle the rigors when you're driving down the road and the longevity pull out tray and i believe this has an 800 pound weight capacity but it's pretty nice just to have something in the middle and being able to easily access it you also have an lp quick connect right here so if you want to do a little bit of grilling on this side you are more than able to do so the steps flip up into the door you got a screen you're also going to have uh, the uh, 25 mile per hour winds basically will not slam that thing shut and then you got a camera system here too so you got one camera here and then you got one out the back i'll show you that here in a second frameless windows uh, they also use i believe a 10 times clear coat on the uh, exterior so their paint job is a little bit more as well like some of the brands you know you might be able to get a paint job for you know seven grand or whatever it is this one will definitely be more uh, but because they use more and they use it a uh, better way you know you don't have to worry about it showing up with a whole bunch of swirls and all that kind of stuff on you so on the back you do have a receiver with a hitch or with a uh geez oh pete's blanking out here you got your receiver with your plug-in right there so if you need to pull something behind you're able to do that you also have 
the other camera right here, and then the Lippert on-the-go ladder prep, so you can get on top of your roof, you know, check your seals, check your slides, make sure everything is on the old up and up, you know, make sure that everything is well taken care of. You also notice you have slide toppers on each and every one of these, and I cannot recall if that is a standard or if it comes with it, so make sure to ask, you know, the salesperson or whoever that you choose to work with, you know, about that. Now I'll show you this one because I showed the, I already showed that one. You got your power cord reel right there. So you don't have to worry about lugging it around. And you notice that was a slam latch door all the way across. So thicker, since you got the three inch thick walls, you get a thicker baggage door there as well. And then you're going to have some beefed up tires here. Luxury all the way. I believe there are 17 and a half H rated tire. And this one does have uh, the upgraded brakes as you can see right there. It's also got, let's see here, I can't see it down there. Yeah, you got the upgraded suspension and everything. So this is a beefy boy right there. That is a nice camper, a good way to rig it out. Back end of that hot water heater will be located right here, so if you ever need to get into it. And then this is going to be your docking station. So, you know, you have your spray port, uh, gray tank flush, sanitation flush, and your black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank and then all of your different valves as well as your water pump up in that top right. Other side of that pass through. And then those are, should be the front cap lights. Right here you got a touch control. Uh, if you wanna do the leveling, it also shows you kinda of where you're sitting at, you know, right at that moment too. And then your propane bottles. And what's nice about these is they are on, you're just gonna move this. And now they come out and then you have easy access to switching you know, your propane bottles. And to put it back, you're just gonna take your thumb, do it like that, and then bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to rock. Here's the other control for the auto leveling. And then heading up on the front, you got a battery tray that can fit up to four. You also have your power inverter, your hydraulics, your disconnects, and then this is gonna be where you would put a generator if you choose to do so. And you can get a 5500 or a 6500. The more ride pin box for a little bit of an extra comfortable ride when you're whipping down the road, just kind of helps out with some of that bouncing, just makes it really nice and smooth. And then we are back up to the front, to the best front cab in the game, shining like justice. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope to see you next time. Hit that like and subscribe button if you don't mind. Again, this is the 2024 DRV Mobile Suites Nashville. My name is Hunter. See you. Meow, 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 me